Welcome back to another video. Today we're diving into a topic that's crucial for anyone who's in or wants to be in the field of cybersecurity. Maintaining focus while pen testing, doing bug bounty, or while studying for your next certification. And we'll explore practical strategies like planning your day, time boxing, eliminating distractions, setting clear goals, and tracking your progress. If you like the video, then don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's dive in. So I wanted to kick things off by talking about planning your day and also something that I've been experimenting with recently and that is time boxing. So in previous videos you might have seen how I plan my days around tasks but now I'm working in a more intentful way so that I simply don't just sit at my computer for 12 hours straight. It's often easy to get overwhelmed by the sheer volume of tasks at hand whether it's reviewing code, closing tickets, making YouTube videos or just keeping up with the latest cybersecurity trends. And I used to approach my day with a plan of what I needed to do, but not when I was going to do those things. And I generally jumped from one task to another. And whilst I got things done, I often strung things out into the evening and right up until when I went to bed. So now I've started time boxing and that had a pretty big impact on my day to day. So what is time boxing exactly? Well, it's all about allocating specific time slots for different tasks. For example, all of my best work gets done somewhere between 7.30 and 11 a.m. So I split up that time and dedicate it to tasks that require effort, creativity, or are generally difficult or taxing. For me, this could be researching a new topic, building labs, writing course materials, things like this. And after that, I'll wind down for a while and work on some things that just need to be done, but don't require any special amount of thinking, usually administrative tasks or checking emails. What's nice about this method is that it forces you to focus on one task at a time within a set period. And for me, this reduces procrastination and improves my productivity productivity generally. I also recommend starting your day by outlining what you want to achieve. It doesn't have to be an elaborate plan, just a simple list of things that are aligned with your larger goals. This way, you're not just busy, you're actually productive. And you're working on things that actually move the needle. For each of these, place them somewhere in your schedule so that you have dedicated time to do them. And also, don't forget to schedule short breaks. The Pomodoro technique is generally a great way to keep your mind fresh and avoid burnouts. And in the five minute break, I tend to do things around the house that need to get done. And you'll be amazed at the amount of laundry and washing up that doesn't need to be done just because I've done everything in a handful of five minute breaks throughout the day. So by planning your day and using time boxing, you'll find that you can get more done in less time and with less stress. And it's especially useful when you're juggling multiple projects or working and then studying for a certification or something on the side. Before we continue with the video, a very important announcement. The Black Friday discounts at TCM are live now. From today, until December 2nd, you can get 20% off all certification vouchers and 50% off your first payment to the Academy. In addition, we have some special never seen before bundles on sale and discounts for our two upcoming live trainings, the popular Attacking and Defending Active Directory and our brand new SOC Level 1 Live. Seats to these trainings fill up quickly, so if you're interested, make sure to act fast. If you've been thinking of taking a TCM certification like the PNPT or upping your skills with the hundreds of hours of courses on the Academy, you won't want to miss out on the sale. Next up, let's tackle a big one, and that is eliminating distractions. We live in a world where everything is constantly competing for our attention. Of course, notifications, emails, social media, the list goes on and on. And when you're in the middle of dissecting a complex security issue or trying to understand a new exploit, even the slightest distraction can throw you off your game. Sometimes when I'm trying to focus and a notification pops up on my phone, I check it just for a couple of seconds and before before you know it, 20 minutes has gone by. Time wasted and regaining deep focus can be tough. So what can we do about it? Well, first, in the mornings, I switch my phone to focus mode and turn off the notifications on my computer. It might feel a bit weird at first being completely disconnected, but honestly, after a while, I actually look forward to being pretty much impossible to reach. It's likely that not everybody can do this given their circumstances, but you can at least switch off non-essential notifications for a while. Creating a dedicated 
dedicated workspace also makes a huge difference if you're working from home. If possible, set up a space that's solely for work or study and make sure that it's easy to access. This sends a signal to your brain that it's time to focus whenever you're in that space. And if you need to, let the people around you know that you need uninterrupted time, whether it's family or roommates or colleagues, a simple heads up can go a really long way in minimizing interruptions throughout the day. Though this doesn't work with cats, generally they do as they please, but they do have a pretty rigid schedule. So of course, when they eat, sleep, or decide to start a title fight in the Thunderdome, and working around this isn't so tricky once you get the times locked in. But in the end, by taking steps to eliminate distractions, you're setting yourself up for much deeper focus and more effective work. And it's all about creating an environment where you can immerse yourself fully in the task at hand. Moving on, let's talk about the importance of setting clear goals because without them, it's easy to feel like you're treading water. My journey into cybersecurity was a little bit all over the place, dabbling in network security one day and web app pen testing the next. And whilst it's good to have a broad understanding, I now realize that without focused goals, my progress was somewhat scattered. So after a few years, I began setting specific measurable goals. For example, instead of saying, I want to get better at pen testing, I'd set goals like, I will complete at least one hack the box machine and update my notes each week. And this gives us a clear target to aim for that's also measurable. And for me, that's a big part of the motivation, seeing what I've accomplished already. Long-term goals are also important and certifications make for good long-term goals. But again, don't forget about the smaller things and the consistency you need to actually get there write them down and revisit them to stay motivated. Also, having clear goals helps in prioritizing tasks. So when you know what you're aiming for, it's much easier to decide what deserves your time and what doesn't. It cuts down on wasted effort and keeps you aligned with your overall objectives. So take some time to define what success actually looks like for you in both the short and the long term. And with clear goals in place, you'll find that your efforts are more focused and your results are more rewarding. Finally, let's dive into to tracking progress. Setting goals is great, but without tracking, we don't know how far we've come or what adjustments we need to make. And I used to overlook this step, thinking that as long as I was working hard, I was making progress. But the truth is, without measurable data, it's hard to gauge your effectiveness. So I started keeping a log of all my activities. Basically, when I come to plan my day, I check back to see what I've already done and make sure that that's recorded as well. There are plenty of tools out there that can help you with this, from spreadsheet templates to dedicated apps, but personally, I just have a notebook and I write in it every single day. So choose something that fits your style and make it a habit to update it daily. But tracking progress isn't just about metrics. It's also about reflection. You should take some time to review what you've accomplished and where you face challenges. This self-assessment helps you understand what's working and what isn't. And as I mentioned earlier, it's going to really help you stay motivated. And so by actively tracking your progress, you create a feedback loop that drives continuous improvement and productivity. It's an essential practice that turns your efforts into tangible results. And that's it for today's video. I hope these insights help you enhance your focus and productivity. And if you have any questions or tips of your own, then feel free to drop them down in the comments below. I'll catch you next time.